Courtside, Arizona. Good afternoon to RV fans. It's Mike from Random Bits RV. And today I've got two really exciting products to talk about. I've got the Echo Wash by Avalon Bay and the Echo Spin. Let's take a look and see what these things can do. We're going to start with a uh, unboxing of the Echo Wash by Avalon Bay. Now, the reason why I think it's uh, kind of cool that we're doing this video today we're in quartzite, we're in the desert, and stuff is horribly dirty out here. So let's see what happens. So the directions are pretty straightforward with this device. Um, they give you a chart for the amount of laundry that you're going to use, the amount of water that you need, and then the amount of detergent. Now, so what I'm going to simply wash is two dirty dish towels uh, that have been uh, in our kitchen. And don't tell Dawn that I'm going to wash two of her dirty socks. Ooh. I'm going to, so all I have is laundry pods right now. So I'm just going to poke a little hole in the laundry pod because I know we're not going to need all this soap for this laundry. I'm just going to use a little bit of the pod and we'll save the rest for later. And then I'm going to dump in about a quart and a half of hot water straight out of the tap. Now, there's a really cool thing about this machine here that I read is that kind of like a pressure cooker um, where pressure builds up um, flavors in a pressure cooker infuse in the food. Same thing with this. So with very hot tap water and we fasten this lid, there's going to be a, a slight amount of pressure that's going to build up in here. And the end result is that it's going to get your laundry, uh, the hot water is going to infuse in the fabric of the clothes or whatever it is that you're washing. The end result is going to be a little bit cleaner. The instructions say to agitate this for two minutes. Uh, now, there are some very nice suction cups on the bottom, but I like the towel on the table uh, because the table's a little bit dirty underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl, and we're going to time this for two minutes. So here we go. And the instructions also say to kind of work it back and forth a little bit so it gives a good agitation action. All right, I think that's about two minutes. Now the next step is to drain the soap cycle out. We're gonna use this uh, connection tube here and we're going to hook it up. And if you're doing this inside your RV, uh, you might do that by a sink. If you're doing it outside in the desert, the uh, sand of the desert here and the gravel and quartzite is not gonna mind a little bit of soapy water on the ground, I don't believe. If I get arrested, we might. So I could tell when I hooked the nozzle up, there was a little bit of pressure that shot out. So the pressure concept appears to work, and it looks kind of clean inside. While that's draining, I'm going to go get a pitcher of clean, fresh rinse water. And by the way, the instruction said to use uh, hot tap water, not boiling, but hot is the key. All right, so I am back with my hot, fresh rinse water, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the nozzle so my fresh rinse water doesn't go on the ground. Let's dump this in the Echo Wash. And we're going to agitate for about another two more minutes to rinse all the soap out. I can tell you I got a, got a real sense of uh, some really strong agitation going on. Uh, it looks really clean inside. But let's take a look and see when we're done when all the soap is rinsed out. You could easily rinse this under the sink, but honestly, I think that uh, letting the machine do the uh, do the work for you probably is a, a better uh, method to go. All right, so I'm going to give this another two-minute uh, spin, and see you back in two minutes. All right, we're going to call that about two minutes. Let's go ahead and release the water. Again, I felt that I heard that pressure shoot out of there from the heat from the hot tap water. So that means that the pressure action is working. 
And of course the water comes out a little bit easier. And I see it's a little soapy in there, so what I may do uh, is finish this off uh, in the sink by just rinsing. Now I'm going to take the hose and uh, rinse the soap off from here. Now, it's okay, the water's drained out. Now, i got to say that I wasn't overly scientific with the amount of soap that I used. Uh, I just shot a little bit out of that Tide pod uh, and dumped it in here. I can tell you there's still a lot of soap uh, still. But not soap. There's a lot of suds sitting on top of all the uh, of the laundry that's in there. Yeah, it's still real soapy. But it looks like Don's uh, dirty socks got clean. That's kind of cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse these uh, with my water nozzle uh, right behind the rig. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I rinsed it maybe for about a total of 15 seconds, uh, and then the soap seemed to uh, to go away. And as I look at the laundry. Uh, it does not seem to be uh, any soapy residue. We're going to let that sit. I'm going to move this aside. Then we're going to un unbox the Echo Spin. And this is the Echo Spin by Avalon Bay. Uh, the Echo Spin uh, is going to function like a uh, spin cycle on your wash machine uh, in the water mat or in your house. And some notes about this thing uh, it's hand powered, this is a hand powered spin cycle has a tight locking lid, directional drain tube, gentle on your clothes, and it is echo friendly. So here's the echo spin. Let's take a look. Now I'm told, kind of excited to try this out, um, told that it's a good thing to, to have these in, in pairs. In other words, if you have the echo wash, a good complement is the echo spin. So there are directions. I'm going to take a quick glance at them. Oh, this looks like it might wash and and spin spin dry as well. Yep, this washes as well. All right, we're back. I'm excited to try this. Uh, probably an unfair test, but I'm going to test it anyway. I've got uh, my signature hat. I've got another copy here, uh, and it is filthy dirty from riding out in the desert, and it is covered with dirt. You can see it is brown, nasty dust all over it. I'm going to try it, see what happens. Okay, I'm back. I filled up the Echo Spin washer, rinser uh, with hot tap water. I've got my, my favorite uh, backup ball cap in there. And we're going to give this a shot, see what happens. All right, we'll see what we got here. We're going to try this. I'm going to unhook the, or, or, un, or loosen the, uh, the cap. Let that water drain out. And yeah, it didn't do too bad. Yeah, it did pretty well, actually. Yeah, it did, it did well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this drain. I'm going to just take this back to my hot water faucet, and I'm going to just rinse the soap off of this, and then we're going to run the spin cycle and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm back with my uh, backup ball cap here. And I can tell you that the desert grime and dirt is off the hat. I rinsed the soap out of it with my uh, hot water nozzle on the other side of my RV. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the spin and get any excess water out of this that may be left. And I'll let you know how it works. The, uh, the directions say that the wash cycle should be for two minutes. The spin cycle should be for, I believe I read 30 seconds. I'll give it a shot. What I will say is that thing really spun up. And I noticed the water is coming out of the hose. And I'm not going to say it's totally dry. Of course not, because it, it needs to air out and dry. But I can tell you all the nasty grime and crud from the desert riding around on the uh, four-wheeler the other day is gone. Let me get the other laundry, and let's put the uh, other laundry that we did with the... Uh, with the uh, echo wash. Uh, let's get that out. All right. So this is still pretty wet. 
Dawn's not so nasty socks are still pretty wet. All right, here we go the spin cycle and get that spun up for 30 seconds. Okay, the dish towel is clean, it smells clean, the second dish towel is clean. And oh, by the way, there's no more water in here. I tried to wring them socks out and they're, uh, they're pretty much wrung out. Let's try this. Maybe a little, a couple drops came out. But, hang this on a line. And you're set. My recap on the Echo Wash, the Echo Spin. Uh, this thing, the Echo Wash, was really easy to operate. I felt like this got some really good agitation action in there. Uh, this thing, the wash cycle, I think was a little bit. It took some. It took some elbow grease to to crank this thing around for a wash cycle. But I got to tell you, once I drained the water and put the spin cycle in. Uh, this was awesome, and it did wring that uh, the water out of the clothes. I got to tell you, I'm impressed with this. Now, full disclosure, Avalon Bay did send these to, to me and ask if I would evaluate them. Uh, no money exchange hands. Uh, I just agreed to do it. Judge for yourself. Echo Wash, Echo Spin from Avalon Bay. I'm Mike with Random Mitts RV. Thank you for your time. If you like this content or you want me to try other things, let me know down below. Please subscribe if you'd like. Also, thumbs up. We'll see you on the road. I almost forgot the best part of this whole demonstration that I just did. Uh, the people of Avalon Bay are going to offer you 10% off on the Echo Wash and 30% off on the Echo Spin. And all you have to do is look at the bottom of the description uh, for the, the, the code. You click on the code. You order your Echo Wash or Echo Spin or both, and you're going to get 10, if not 30% off. 10% on the Echo Wash, 30% off on the Echo Spin. How exciting is that? Just use the code for random bits. We'll see you on the road.